lined up. Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Right, I've just cleaned my kitchen. Ready for my new cooker. Do, 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 do. do you know how long I've had that cooker, Mr. Producer? 14 years. So not done bad. Not done bad. 14 years and it cost about £550. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So I'm going to do a couple of parcels. Only a couple. Because I ain't got tons of energy. But I got a little bit. I'm going to buy that much. Will that be about two or three? <laughs> Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Right. So these are the parcels that I've got left. And yeah, I, 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 I've been Christmas shopping on Amazon as well, so I got more arriving. <laughs> right, we're gonna do this one first, though. Let's do the book. <laughs> Back in we go. Back in we go. Hey, you did well then. You didn't fall over. I'm very proud of you, Mr. Producer. Shall we give a round of applause to Mr. Producer? <laughs> we're not falling over, because I thought he really would. Right, so there's nothing quite like Christmas together. Now we all agree with that. This is an Audi Christmas magazine. It came through the door because obviously I've not been out shopping. But it's been voted favorite supermarket by Good Housekeeper Record readers for 2020. Unfortunately, our local Audi doesn't do delivery. I wish they did because I could just eat the lobster. Oh, or scallops. Mm. Colin Miss isn't going to give me loads of ideas for Christmas and then I'm not going to be able to get it all and I'm going to end up having Chris sandwiches. <sighs> Lobster tails. Hey, that's not bad. 9 99 Can we go to Audi tomorrow, please? <laughs> 9 99 for a lobster tail. Now, I had lobsters for the first time when I went on holiday to Jersey as a child. Yes. We had one lobster between nine of us. We had one bite each. That was it. <laughs> yes. Scallops look nice as well. Ooh, hand picked white orkney crab claw meat. I love crab claws. Crab claws is probably one of my favourite things. Miss Producer hates them. He hates the smell. He, he just hates it. But I like fish. I can't help it. I had a beautiful ramen noodles with salmon yesterday. It was really nice. But um, yeah, so. It's all fish and it all looks delicious. It really, really does look delicious. So, the hawk and the crab meat. I presume you don't get them like that though. You're going to have to do it yourself. They're not going to, they're just giving you examples of what you can do with the crab meat. They'll come in a box, won't it? Ooh, mini dress crab. Turkey! Now, we only ever have the turkey crown because we don't do the brown meat part. We only ever have. That one that looks like a butt. Yeah. Hey, that's not bad. Eleven ninety nine. On sale from the nineteenth of December. Yeah, nineteenth of December. They all, they never come in stock until that time. I know Asda's already got them in. Asda do. I just got no room in my freezer for it. You can have more than one meat on Christmas Day as well. My, my dad likes a bit of beef with his turkey. He does. British beef rib joint with salt and pepper seasoning. That sounds nice. Succulent French trim. It's going to make me hungry. Succulent French trim British beef joint seasoned with sea salt and black pepper. Reared on trusted farms with remarkable flavour and exceptional marbling throughout. Or you can have a bit of ham. Or gammon. Gammon, isn't it? Gammon's very salty, I think. Very salty. Oh, whole lobster. How can a whole lobster be only five ninety nine but a tail is eleven ninety nine? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. That looks so nice. Is it bad that this all looks really, really nice? Hey with my new cooker, do you think we could cook it all? This is on sale from the sixteenth of November. Whole cooked Canadian lobster, tender, juicy, and sustainably sourced. Mm. And then you've got your little bits, like your parsnips, your pigs in blanket, your two meter long pig in blanket. Should we get one of them this year? 
two meters long pig in blanket. God, middle monkey will be in his heaven. Can you imagine? <laughs> Red cabbage, star stuffing portions. Oh, star stuffings. Oh, that sounds nice. Sounds nice. Merry sherry stuffing. Pork sausage meat topped with smoked pancetta, chestnuts and sherry. Presented in a mason cash ceramic dish. Oh, you get to keep the dish afterwards. It's worth it just for dish. Then veg vegan and vegetarians. Vegan gravy recipe. Cool. Quite like that. Better than gravy right now that I use. You've got to put one celery steak, one carrot, one onion, one clove of garlic, chestnut mushrooms, rapeseed oil, light soy sauce, boiling water, paprika, tomato puree, white pepper. Mm. Ah, so basically you shove it all in a pan, yeah, and then after 40 minutes you strain it all and there's your gravy. Mm, not bad. Tis the season to eat vegetables. Do -do 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 -do. Mustard, I'm, I'm going to keep this book because there's quite a few recipes in here. Mushroom red cabbage recipe. Uh, serve six people. Half a large red cabbage, 40 grams of butter, full fat creme fraiche, whole grain mustard, fresh parsley, salt and black pepper. Where's the mushrooms on? Oh, mustard. Sorry. Mustard red cabbage. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look, they've got the puddings. They didn't look like nice pudding. Plum damson and pink gin pudding. No, that's that one. That one's nice. That one's got gin in. That one's got brandy in. No, I make my own Christmas pudding. I do. I used to make my own Christmas pudding and ice it and everything. Oh, millionaire's pudding. Oh, I want one of them. I want one of them. For this stunning festive centerpiece, we've baked a light soft sponge with Belgium chocolate chunks, pieces of creamy fudge and a lustrous gold sparkle. Wow, your guess as you drizzle over the salted caramel sauce and finish with a millionaire sprinkling of dark chocolate chips. Crunchy biscuit and sea salt caramel pieces. <laughs> Ooh. Dark Belgian chocolate and salty caramel layered dessert. That looks really pretty. I just think how pretty they look. Probably don't sell them in our Aldi. Would you sell them in our Aldi? What we'd have to do is take the book in and go, I want one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. Oh, they look even nicer. Ooh, that looks nice. Cheesecake. Ooh. What's that? A choc oh, it's a chocolate dome. Geometric dome desserts with a mousse centre and a hidden fruit compote. To choose from white chocolate, lemon and berry, or milk chocolate and a flat black forest gatto. That looks nice. I'd want one of everything. We just have dessert for Christmas dinner. Who needs me? What are you having? You can have me afterwards. I'll taste sooner. <laughs> Sorry. Sicilian lemon. Sicilian lemon tart. I've had some of that. Down London, baby. I had one of them. I need to get one of them. Oh, sticky toffee pudding. It's not sticky toffee pudding. It's Belgian chocolate and orange melt in the middle pudding. Oh. Oh, God. We can fit all these in the freezer. We can fit them in the freezer in the kitchen. Cheese. And some cheese. Some nice cheese, isn't it? Edam. Oh, what's that one? Number two. Cheese truckles. Choose from Wensleydale and cranberry. Double Gloucester. Onion and chive. Cheddar and caramelised onion. Or chilli cheddar. Chilli cheddar sounds nice. I like chilli cheddar. Chilli cheddar. I like sweet chilli. Oh. oh. <laughs> I need a bank loan. <laughs> wonder people get fatter at christmas there really isn't oh my god these are instead of mince pies or are they they aren't they're mince pies they're mince pies i mean how do mince pies look this nice i don't like mince pies but they look nice and they recommend with your mince pies to have the fletcher's 40 year old tawny port and it's on sale at 34.99 Port. Port. Never had port before. 
mini mince pies. I don't like mince pies, but they look so nice. Extra treats. Ooh, biscuits look nice. Oh, I'm gonna need one of them as well. Ooh, marzipan bars. You like marzipan? Do you like marzipan? You're not really bothered. I like marzipan. Musical biscuit tin. <gasps> Seven ninety nine. That's not bad. But I think of what we're gonna get for the neighbours. Normally get them one of them big flowers. Ganache snowflakes. <gasps> we need to get one of them. Ha! Little Christmas things. Cake selection. Oh my god, I need to stop looking through this book. Oh, we need to get some of them for the kids. We need to get a sloth. We need to get a sloth. I've actually just ordered, don't tell the monkeys this, for a treat on Christmas Eve, but only for two of them because one doesn't drink it, a hot chocolate bomb. So you boil your milk, obviously, yeah, pour it into your cups or your glasses or whatever, drop in the bomb, yeah, and then the chocolate melts, you flip it over and all marshmallows come out and everything. So I've got myself a chocolate orange one. And I've got Eldest Monkey and Little Monkey, a chocolate one. You don't like hot chocolate. Do you want one? Well, he just said, what about me? I said, do you want one? He's like, no. I'll get you a snowman one. They're the same thing. They're, they're just a bit cheaper. They're only one ninety nine. We'll get you one of them. <laughs> oh, there's a tree. I just need to go and get it all. I haven't put Kevin's out yet. The ultimate buffet. Can you remember when we used to have a buffet on Boxing Day? That was hard work. <laughs> Iceland, wasn't it? It was all Iceland stuff. It got very expensive. Oh, wow, they're nice. Number seven. Thai roses. Ten delicately handmade roses with a delicious mixture of red Thai and yellow Thai flavours. They're pretty. Oh, prawns. See, I eat things like that anyway throughout the year. I don't have it for party food. But they always put it up near Christmas. So nice. Always and forever. Prawn lollipops. We need to go to Aldi. <laughs> Get some prawn lollipops. Wine. Don't do wine. <laughs> Where's the gin? There's the gin. We found the gin. <laughs> I found the gin. <laughs> Sniffed it out. Hey, it's only £15 a bowl. Pink grapefruit? Nope. Blood orange and peach, nope. Spiced plum, no. Nope. Spiced apple and ginger, maybe. Mold winter berry gin. Sounds nice. Or for eight ninety nine, you can get the blueberry gin liqueur. That sounds nice. Millionaire shortbread. Apple crumble. Northern lights. I like the sound of that one. And slow and elderberry. I, I like elderberry. I like elderberry. I like elderberry gin. I like elderberry gin. I like elderberry gin. I, I'm giving hints here. The monkeys have actually turned around to work. Because obviously my birthday is nine days before Christmas Day. Hint, hint, Amazon wishlist. But yeah. Um, it's on my Twitter. Isn't it? I'll have to put it back on my Twitter then. Um, but yes. And they've said that... They're buying me gin for my birthday. And I said to him, who's buying that then? He says, we are. He says, all right, what money? Like, Dad's. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. They do it in tins as well. If you wanted to try them. I mean, in tins instead of having a big bottle. I know that's cheaper, but what if you don't like the flavour of it? You just knock it back. <laughs> well, why? Malibu. Ooh. But it's not, not Malibu, sorry, Baileys. But it's not true Baileys. It's Audi Baileys. So it's Irish Cream or Ballycastle. Oh, look at the flowers, Mr. Producer. Aren't they pretty, Mr. Producer? Mr. Producer. <laughs> they are really nice. Only six ninety nine for a dozen red roses. That is not bad at all. Poinsettia. £2.39, that's what we're getting the neighbours. <laughs> we always, I always get them a poinsettia because the, they don't eat chocolate and things like that. Oh no! Oh no! 
Oh no, oh no, oh no. I found a giant sloth. I know giant sloth. I want the giant sloth. Where would I put the giant sloth? I don't care. I like that though. Look at that. That is really pretty to go outside. Where could we put that? Why did you give me this book? Where th This isn't a fair because I can't order it online. It isn't fair. And the tree. My tree's not going to look like that this year though, is it? Where are we putting the tree? Huh? Where did we put it last year? In front of the radiator. Huh? Where I do yoga, yeah. So where are we putting the tree this year? No, we're not having Christmas in the bedroom. <laughs> where are we putting the tree this year? I have no clue where we're putting the tree this year. No clue. Hmm? Front of the window. Problem is, eldest monkey sits on his chair and plays Xbox. No, he didn't do it last year. It wasn't there last year, the Xbox. So where are we putting the Christmas tree? <laughs> because if you put it there, it'll cover Big Ben as well. There's no room in the living. There's no room in the inn for a Christmas tree this year. <laughs> Cause you've got a. That is a small one. It's only a four foot, five foot one. Can't have a tiny tree, can we? God, we've gone down from a nine foot down to a five foot, and now you're gonna go even smaller. <laughs> uh, we'll figure it. We'll have to move furniture around. <laughs> Parents, you want to do the decorating on only fans this year? In the buff. Did you not do that last year? No, because you weren't on only fans at Christmas last year. Yeah, I think we're still on Patreon. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. It means a trip up into the loft or whatever where we put it. Doesn't it, Mr. Producer? Hmm. I want to go to Audi. I see a trip to Audi in my future next week. Masks and gloves on. anti back spray. <laughs> and I'm ta I'm keeping the book. Because then I'm going to go through the book as I walk through the store. And go, yeah, it was one of them or it was one of them. I'm being serious. I'm going to do it. I am. Right then. <laughs> now, whatever food lasts till Christmas is a different story. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Find me on my Twitter and my Instagram, UK. Find me on my Cocoscope, UK. We have TikTok, TV, And then we've got my OnlyFans, freebie, $10, and the VIP 91. And we'll see you all in the next video, which is another parcel. But I'm picking tonight. See you later.